All right, thank you for joining us, Coach. We'll get things started with an opening statement. Uh, yeah, give give Purdue credit. I thought it was uh, was a typical uh, uh, Big Ten physical game, and I uh, give them credit for uh, making uh, making the necessary plays. Obviously, got uh, got a lot to take and learn from this. Uh, I think we did some some uh, some good things, but uh, didn't didn't finish the game like we needed to, and got beat in stretches that uh, kind of kept it. Uh, kept it within a two or three possession game. So got to take it, learn from it, move forward. We will open questioning with Brendan Gulick. Hey, Chris, thanks for spending some time with us. Um, is it too early because you haven't had a chance to, to watch film yet? Is it too early to ask you specifically what you wanted to learn from tonight or, or what you did learn after this game? Well, I, you know, I think initial, initial thought is, um, we need to play with more with more force and physicality, uh, both offensively and defensively. Um, I didn't think we were as as physical as we needed to be for for this league. Uh, and then I did not think we played with enough poise in the last five minutes of the game offensively when it was uh, when it was a, a two possession game. So we had to learn from those two things. We've we've uh, done a pretty good job of that. Um, but again, give Purdue credit that they're a good defensive team and they made it difficult for us. I, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth. So if I don't ask this open-ended, please know I don't mean it that way. I'm, I'm curious about some of the, the missed threes tonight. You'd referenced uh, yesterday, I believe it was, that you were trying to work more on shot selection. Tonight, were you happy with shot selection or did you feel that maybe the, the length around the perimeter bothered you a little bit? You know, I, again, I'll have to look at it. I, I think there were a couple uh, that I, I felt like we should have attacked uh, more than what we did. And then there were some that I think were were just misses um, that, uh, you know, I have confidence our guys are going to make. But uh, I think there were, there were some that were certainly open that we just missed, and there was, there was a couple that uh, uh, we could have done a better job attacking. Okay. Have a safe trip back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Up uh, next, Adam Jardy. Chris, both uh, CJ and Kyle talked about you wanting them to play harder and, and do more as far as just being everyday leaders on this team. Uh, how did you see them respond to being taken out of the lineup, and, and what impact, if any, did you think that had on the game? Oh, I, you know, I think those guys, they're, they're, they're terrific. They're, they're terrific guys. They're terrific uh, leaders. Um, they're the kind of people that uh, uh, you want. And I thought they responded, you know, they responded fine, as I knew they would. Um, I thought, so I thought both guys responded well and, and played, uh, you know, played a lot and, and played, uh, played well in stretches, but, uh, we have to collectively do, do better. Uh, and that's, that's on our, our leadership, our captains and myself. You talked about you, your guys need to play with more force and physicality offensively and defensively. Were those concerns that you had coming into the game that, that you kind of watched happen like in front of your eyes? Yeah, I think that'll be something we'll have to continue to get better with. Um, you know, we're, we're not playing as fast as we need to uh, off of a turnover, uh, a defensive rebound. We've, we've, got to, we've got to get down the floor and put more uh, pressure on the defense. We've got to play faster in, the, in those moments. And I think, uh, you know, we've, we've got to be more effective at that. Um, but I think the physicality and playing with more force, I do think that's that's a bit of a learning experience for some of our guys uh, that have not seen this kind of physicality before. And uh, we've got to help them get better with it. All right, everyone, let's keep it to one question, please. Up next, Bruce Hooley. Chris, I know that there's a hesitancy to make a mountain out of a molehill here, but this is the Big Ten opener, and this is a game you can win. And I don't think you change the lineup lightly uh, in that situation. It seems to me like there was something lacking from guys that maybe the message or what's lacking is more than you're making it out to be. Yeah, no, not really. You know, I, I, I understand your question, Bruce. I just I just think, I mean, listen, I'm just we're, – we're, we're, coaching, we're coaching our team. Um, I believe uh, the kid Travion Williams. I believe he was he was benched a game ago, and maybe maybe didn't start this game. I don't I don't know. I think it's, you know, uh, they're great kids. 
terrific kids. Uh, they're great leaders. Um, no, it, it, it is what it is. It's, uh, these guys, they responded like I knew they would. And, uh, I think we, they know we need, we need more out of them. If we're going to have a good team, we need more out of Kyle Young and, and CJ and those guys responded. I thought they both had really good moments tonight. Up next, Steve. Uh, you, know, I've said, you know, I've said, I, I've said, I, you know, I, I think for this team, the, the, the lineup, the starting lineup, it'll be fluid throughout the year. You know, I think as you're, we're still trying to figure out whether it's injuries or whatever. I think it'll be it'll be somewhat fluid throughout the year. Up next, Steve Hellwagon. Yeah, Coach, I asked you after the last game about uh, suing in Washington in particular, and uh, both of them, you know, struggled a little bit suing. I think five turnovers, and and they put a plus minus on this box score. I haven't seen this in a while. Washington was minus seventeen. I don't know if you put a lot into that, but. Uh, what uh, what can you make of that? And I know you're leaning on those guys, and they're doing the best they can. Just your thought about those two guys? Yeah, no, I think we've got to get we've got to get more out of them. Those have to play uh, play better. Dwayne has to be more efficient offensively. We've been saying that, um, and uh, we've we've got to help him do that. And Justice has to he's got to figure out how to uh, play. Uh, with the physicality, he's got to make better decisions with the ball. I think one of those uh, one of those turnovers was a was an illegal screen, but the other four he's got control over. But I thought he did some good things tonight. I, I really did, and uh, you know I just think collectively, you know they, they listen. We did some good things as a group tonight. We really did. I thought we did some good things, and um, uh, collectively it just wasn't wasn't good enough in in this league right now. But uh, there's definitely some some positives we can take from it. Uh, we got to keep we got to keep improving on those areas that we need to improve in. Thank you. Up next, Patrick Murphy. Chris, how much was uh, Travion Williams somebody you guys talked about coming into this? And, and you obviously mentioned the size the other day. If you can't simulate that in practice because you just don't have guys that big, how difficult does that make it for you? You know, I I thought uh, I, I thought. Our, our post trapping uh, clearly needs to get better. He's a, you know, as I mentioned, he's been, he's what, a thir third year player, I believe. He's a preseason all, all league player. He's been trapped plenty of times. So he understands he's good over his left shoulder, passing out of it. I thought we were really good um, in the second half against him. I thought we were really good. And I thought we really challenged him better. Uh, I thought both guys, now he made some, he made some tough shots. He made some tough shots and a couple of those that you kind of shake your head at. But uh, I thought uh, in the second half, we were much better individually on him. But he's a really good player. He's a really good player. And final question, Colin Hassel. Chris, I just wanted to ask specifically about that Zed tip to Dwayne near the end of the game, because it seemed like, you know, if, if, if things had transpired a little bit differently after that play, you know, that could have been the turning point of the game. I, so I was just wondering, like, that single play and, and, and what Zed sort of meant to you guys tonight, what did that show you about what he can become as this season sort of progresses? You know, I think he's, he's making real progress for us. You know, he's, he's figuring out I – I think he would play 20 minutes, 22 minutes maybe tonight. Um, you know, that's a, that's a lot for a freshman in a Big Ten game. Uh, particularly when you're going against an all-league post guy. So I thought we got some good minutes from both of our freshmen. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, it was a big play, as you mentioned. It was a big play. I think it cut it to, what, two possessions or uh, six-point thing. But that was a good play. We needed, obviously, more of those throughout the course of the game, uh, Colin. We just needed – we need more of those throughout the course of the game. So, um, you know, we got a, we got a quick turnaround. Uh, like I said, we've got uh, – we got to just look at it, see where we can get better, and, and uh, take those steps moving forward.